Welcome to section 5.6, adding and subtracting decimals. Now, whenever you're adding and subtracting numbers that have decimals, especially if it's more than just one, if it's two or three or four, I will strongly suggest that you just stack them vertically so we can get all of our place values lined up. So it's a lot easier to keep straight as to what it is that you need to add. Our table here uh, lists the number of dollars spent in billions each year on dance supplies. So studios, uh, equipment, uh, lessons, recital halls, all of those sorts of things. So our question, at least to start, is how much is spent in 95 and 96? Well, in 1995, there was $0.947 spent, or billion dollars spent. And in 1997, or sorry, 1996, there was 1.04. Six. Well, we can now add these together. So 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1. 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 0 is 9. Our decimal place stays in the same spot. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So it would be $1.993 billion was spent in 95 and 96. Well, the next question is how much more was spent in 98 than in 97? So now we're subtracting, but we would still do the same thing. So you'd start with 1998, so 1.138 minus the amount from 1997, so 1.08. And since our decimal ends, we can add more zeros onto the end. That won't actually change the value, but that will give us that placeholder we need so we can do 8 minus 0 there on the end. So 8 minus 0, that will give us an 8. 3 minus 8, can't do that, so we'll have to steal a digit from the next one over. So 13 minus 8 would give us 5. 0 minus 0 is 0, decimal place. 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 0.058 billion dollars more was spent in 98 than in 97. Well, let's go and actually solve some other problems like this. So sum number y minus 1.537 is equal to 6.48. Well, to get y by itself, we would have to add 1.537 to both sides. Now, on the left side, it's going to just cancel out, so it doesn't really matter too much how well you get it lined up. But on the right side, you need to get that lined up well. So 1.537. Again, I'd just add a zero onto the end of the top one because it's after the decimal place. So it's just a placeholder. It doesn't actually do much. But now you can add straight down in those vertical columns. So 0 plus 7 is 7. 8 plus 3 is 11. So we carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 5 is 10. So we can carry the 1. Carry the decimal place down. 1 plus 6 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So you'd get 7.017. We can do the same thing later on if we are adding negative decimals. Uh, but to get rid of adding a negative decimal, you can either subtract the negative or you can add a positive. So in this case, I'm just going to add a positive 0 0.34 to both sides. And now on the left side, it will cancel that out. So we're left with just x. And on the right side, we can add down from right to left. So 7 plus 4 is 1, or 11, so we'd carry over the 10. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6. Carry down the decimal. 4 plus 0 is 4. So we'd end with 4.61 for our answer there. Now, one way that you can check your answers uh, to make sure that they at least sort of make sense, that there's some logic your answer is about right, uh, is using something called front-end estimation. And front-end estimation says we just add up our whole numbers first, and then with the decimals, we just sort of round them to the nearest chunk that's sort of helpful. So if we are trying to add all of these numbers up and see if our total will be less than 50, well, the first thing I would do is I would just add up our whole number value, so the number of dollars. So 18 plus 9 is 27, plus 3 is 30, plus 2 is 32, plus 16 will get us up to 48. Now, 97 cents, that's almost a dollar. So I'll just round that up to being one. 
49 cents and 49 cents, those are both almost about 50 cents or half a dollar. So combined, those would be about $1. And 19 cents is about 20. 77 cents is about 80. So that's gonna actually be pretty close to another dollar. So that means to our $48 that we know we're spending, we're gonna be spending about three more dollars, which gets us to 51. That is not less than our $50 budget. Uh, so we, our front end estimation says that we are over budget with buying these things. So that's just one way that you can try to check your answer, even if you're adding a lot of decimals together. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions and otherwise I'll catch you next time.